Hey, it's Crystal at the Traveling Attic. We have just got our solar panels put on. Thank you to my dad for helping me. And let me show you what we did and I'll show you a tip that has saved us a lot of time. So we're working on our frame for our solar panels. Where do you think we want this, about here? I would go back further. It might could go back a tiny bit more, don't you think? Because the bottom of it needs to kind of just come up with the oh, truck. Yeah. All right, so we are going to cut the uh, framing. So we're back on top of the roof. Check out all the pollen. The pollen is terrible. Look at the front. <laughs> We have a tip for you. Okay, the brackets here are so small that you can't work with your fingers or anything to hold the nut in place. Take the washer off, take the screw, fish the nut down in there, and then lightly get it started. And then pack the, under the uh, bracket, you pack it really hard with a napkin or paper with the screwdriver stuffed it in there and that holds the nut right where it's supposed to be. Then we unscrew the screw, put the washer on, and slid it in there and then tightened it down that way. And the napkin actually held the nut in place until we could get it uh, tightly screwed down. Okay, I hope that makes sense. On with the show. Got our two railings up, huh? almost. I said we've got our two railings up, our side railings. Put your nut on your uh, uh, unistrut nut. Okay. And then uh, put it in from the end. Okay, and push it over to the first hole. The washer goes on top. Washer goes on top? Yeah. And then the nut goes in. Ah. Is that close, too close? So we um, got the first solar panel on and I'll put some information in the video so you'll know what kind of solar panel and everything. So we're using the unistruts and we use the smaller unistrut for the other side. And we had, the trick is we had to cut uh, this unistrut so we could get the wrench in there to uh, tighten down these bolts. So what we did, we took these off and took this down and put it, put it together upside down in the van and then brought it up here and bolted this down and that worked just fine. So um, these are the two solar panels that I have. This one I bought when I first started researching to, to live in a van when I saw Bob Wells had done a video um, and he had said that these uh, solar grape, I think it's grape, Anyway, he had said that these were on sale for $99, so I bought one, and then I bought this one recently. All 
All right, I just wanted to update you on where I'm at in the van. This is a big step. My next step will be cutting the hole for the wires and cutting the maxi fan hole back here. And then I'll be done with the rooftop, I hope. So I hope you're enjoying the van build and I will keep you posted as it gets done. We're getting a lot done faster now since the weather's changed and I'm ready to get out and start traveling. Stay tuned for more adventures, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next trail.